you're watching the Triesian Racing Channel. Uh, this episode is going to be about the Speedmaster um, Vortec intake manifold for a small block Chevy. Um, do a little uh, review of it and show you guys what it looks like. So this is it right here. The part number on this thing was 1-147-004. Um, uh, it was about 140 bucks, which is... I think the cheapest Vortec intake manifold you can find out there. It's a dual plane, um, just, you know, bottom of the line kind of stuff. But I'm gonna show you how it looks. Um, up top, it doesn't look too bad, you know? Everything looks like it's decent. I don't see any real defects on it or anything like that. Um, I do like how they have the rear cooling port for the rear uh, back of the heads. So you could do a crossover if you wanted to. Um, but what I found the real issue was, was, check this out. First of all, it says Speedmaster, and then they say that they're from Los Angeles, Sydney, and Shanghai. Uh, my guess is they're pretty much only out of Shanghai, and Los Angeles and Sydney are probably like some distributing factories that they sh get the uh, all the castings and stuff shipped to, and then they just redistribute redistrib it. Uh, to wherever you're going so but check this out on the bottom here this is what really got me look at these ports these things just look horrible as far as how consistent they are um, I mean you can see the different shape here we got an extreme angle here um, this one looks okay this one over here this one looks pretty good but this one's kind of got like a little curve to it at the end and look how skinny this dividing wall is compared to this dividing wall and then now this is where it gets really cool at Let's check this other side out <laughs> look at this port right here they don't look like, look like the same port to these two this one i could fit almost two fingers in and three for sure here Th there's plenty of room on this one with three fingers there's like a whole maybe like a half a finger left so it's a lot taller and then, I mean, you can see where it ends here and come over here and you got a little more and then same thing on the bottom. And then I, there's no way I can fit two fingers in here. This one, no problem. So this is probably the best looking one, but this is also still kind of taller. So anyways, just an overview of it. Uh, I was kind of expecting something like this with the price and everything and knowing that it's uh, an offshore manufacturer, but, um, you know, if you're going to buy this intake manifold and just expect to plop it on, um, which you're not really supposed to do anyways, uh, the proper way to do it is to port match anything you're going to put it on, match the head with the intake, but um, this one's going to take some work. So just be prepared if you guys are going to be buying this thing. You will have to take it to somebody um, to get the ports matched so you can get a decent running engine because this right here is going to cause all kinds of airflow issues. Um, with the ports not lining up with the cylinder head. So just want to give you guys an overview of that. Thanks for watching.